In this video, we are going to take a look at sensitivity and trying to get the optimal sensitivity for you. We're going to look at some data from reputable sources and combine that into the video. And at the end of the video, you should have the basics to understand on how to get the perfect sensitivity. And I will also explain what I currently use. But before that, as always, don't forget about the giveaway here and on Discord. And now let's actually get into the video. So let us understand some terms that you know what they mean. The first one, and that's the one you will see a lot being put out there is DPI. DPI basically means dots per inch and it is used to measure the sensitivity of a computer's mouse. And that is why a lot of companies are probably presenting how many DPIs their mouse has because having 35,000 DPI as a marketing term sounds amazing. Then the next term that is also used a lot these days is polling rate. This basically means how many times your mouse is sending information to your PC. So a thousand hertz is a one millisecond response time. So that basically means if you have a mouse at two 2000 hertz meaning your response time should be halved however remember the higher your polling rate the more your cpu has to work means if you don't have a strong cpu you might actually experience some proper frame drops in your game and the next important thing is edpi so the effective dpi and this is just the calculation of the actual sensitivity you're using it is calculated by multiplying your dpi from your mouse with the in-game sensitivity and that is then your effective dpi so with that out of the way let us now look at the data the median edpi that cs2 pros use is 830 this sensitivity brings a great balance between precision and fast reactions because in cs you will most likely need to do some micro adjustments in a gunfight rather than doing proper flicks and also a big concern that some might have is if you go too low in your edpi you will need to move your arm a lot means you will put more strain on your body and you might get fatigued faster but you know what's also very fatiguing finding the right skin on the right marketplace for the right price and that is why today's sponsor is here to help you this video is sponsored by skin search they are the ultimate tool for finding the cheapest prices on all cs2 items across the internet it searches through all of the biggest and most trusted cs2 marketplaces to make sure you're getting the absolute best deals skin search was created by sparkles a legend in the community with one goal helping you to find that perfect skin plus if you're into trade-ups they have a trade-up contract calculator that shows you the precise percentage of your outcomes and even the float and if you want to know how much your inventory is worth check out skin search they have an inventory checker that gives you a realistic cash value of your skins plus extra details that you don't get on steam like the fade percentage sapphire ruby and so much more and they support basically every currency so head down in the link below and check out skin search now now let us find the best dpi and the best polling rate and by that we're going to use data collected by optimum so let's start off with setting up our dpi so we can get the best accuracy out of it and the key findings from the video are the higher your dpi the lower your latency is going to be however the higher you go the less distinguishable differences are going to be so that means doing a jump from 1600 dpi to 3200 dpi will have a minuscule impact on the milliseconds of delay than if you are going from 400 to 800 so that means rather have your dpi on your mouse higher and reduce the sensitivity in game to compensate for that therefore the sweet spot should be around 1600 dpi if you really love high sense you might want to go then with 3200 now let us move on to the polling rate of the mouse again we're going to use optimum's video on this as a reference so the key findings were if you want to get the best out of your polling rate it is important to have a higher dpi in his example 16,000 dpi provides a reliable high polling rate during both slow and fast movements and one thing you also have to remember is that most likely you are going to be running a wireless mouse and that means the higher your polling rate is the higher your battery drain is going to be so it might sound good to go up to 8k polling rate however most likely the only thing you are going to notice is that your battery is going to be drained within a day and also remember the higher your polling rate the more your cpu has to work so if you don't have a strong cpu this could actually impact the performance within a game okay with all of those technical stuff now aside let's actually calibrate our sensitivity in game jump into an aim trainer and find your comfortable range of motion without full arm swings when I did this, I have set myself on 1600 DPI and a 0.5 in-game sense. And this means that my eDPI is 800. And here, play around, find the perfect setting. And once you find something that feels natural, then stick with it. Play with it, don't change anything, try to get used to it. After around 15 to 20 days, and you still don't feel comfortable with playing with that settings, I would actually say start adjusting the in-game sensitivity. And vital here, don't do big jumps. Stick to 0.1 plus or minus to your current in-game 
sensitive. And then again, play for a couple of days, see how it is. And if you still say it is not the right option for you, then again, increase it or decrease it by 0.1. And over the whole duration of you testing out your mouse sensitivity, don't change your desk height unless you know it by heart. Don't change your aspect ratios. By changing your aspect ratio, your in-game sense is going to feel dramatically different. And always keep your setup clean because if your mouse pad is dirty, your mouse won't be able to make its proper adjustments. So with that said, here is my final sensitivity setup that I currently see. I would say if you want, you can try it out. So I would say, let me know down below what you are currently using and if you might need a switcher. And as always, guys, don't forget to check out the link of skin search in the description below. You'll be helping me out a lot. And as always, guys, don't forget to subscribe, like and hit the notification bell. And I will see you guys on the next one.